Oh, oh, I, I just don't know what to do. Uh, it's General Atomic, your very good Fallout friend, here with the greatest moral quandary ever faced in Fallout 4. Do we support the hyper-fascists in the Brotherhood of Steel, intent on wiping out anything that isn't human and, and also some humans? Do we support the Institute who like to release all sorts of mad science experiments up into the world they're trying to save with a total disregard for sentient life? Or do we support the Railroad who are, um, are trying to do good but maybe have a, a somewhat questionable approach to doing so? Well, I asked you all in the comments, you know, make an impassioned speech, make an impassioned argument, because all of them have things that I think would appeal to the character of Planty Mush. The Institute have the science aspect, the Railroad, of course, have the respect for the synths, which Planty Mush has in abundance. The, the Minutemen believe in justice and helping the people of the Wasteland selflessly, which the other two factions uh, maybe don't really have so much. And I think, overall... The, the vibe I'm getting from the people in the comments is uh, some people made a, a, a half argument in favor of the Institute. No one made an argument in favor of the Brotherhood of Steel, which I'm very pleased to see. But overall, I, I, I think the most things that I saw were people making an argument for either the railroad or going independent. Uh, uh, effectively, well, effectively going independent, going with the Minutemen, a faction that we're the leader of, right? In my mind, the ultimate solution to this problem would be joining the institute and reforming it from the inside but of course that's something that uh, firstly we don't even know is possible and secondly might require us to do horrible things in the name of progress you can't deny the institute for the for the world might be one of the better options but someone quite rightly points out in the comments that they that, that boston wouldn't even have a super mutant problem if it wasn't for the institute not to mention, of course, all the sins going around gunning people down and etc, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. I think the truth is the Institute and Planty Mush are compatible from a science perspective, but totally incompatible from a personality perspective. He has no real connection to Sean, right? No real connection Almost to this done. boy. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. This, this old man that's old enough farm. to be Planty's father at this point. The phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Oh, I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full. The problem with the out. Institute is, uh, and someone awesome. said this in the comments, Unit there's a total control. lack of nuance. Operating at full capacity. Whereby the, the Institute are like, yeah, send some machines. Send some machines. We're super hyper intelligent. Uh, they're just machines, even though it's, it's, it's clearly recognizable that the Gen 3 synths are just artificial people, aren't they, ultimately? If, if it, if it, if it flaps like a duck and cracks like a duck and looks like a duck, chances are it very much might be a duck. Uh, more importantly, that duck is sentient and also a human being. Okay, that was a terrible You're metaphor to use. But the fact that he is friends with synths who have displayed... I mean, even Nick, who's like that prototype generation, has a level of self-awareness and emotional complexity that apparently these hyper-intelligent people are incapable of observing in, in any way possible. The fact that Father, who, again, someone in the comments said this, is the most intelligent and highest ranking member of the Institute, simply dismissed synths as vending machines is so tonally dissonant is such a level of cognitive dissonance where you're like okay we're just gonna we're, we're gonna make these human beings but also it's just like a fucking microwave it just doesn't make sense i wouldn't be here if not for your son how they can be so intelligent yet so unfathomably stupid at the same time like like uh, again maximum points in intelligence low points in wisdom uh and even though planty is very much a similar type of guy he, he's, he hasn't got that viciousness that I think the Institute have. We're going to at least... And now we've made the decision here that we're probably not going to go with the Institute, okay? And we're not going to go with the Brotherhood. But I think Planty needs to also come to that conclusion. I feel like he's already probably got a, a horrible taste in his mouth with regards to making friends with Curie and, and Nick Valentine and then hearing how they talk about synths, seeing what they do to synths, forcing them into what is effectively slavery. What's the point of building a human being out of organic parts and then forcing them to sweep the floors. It's so incredibly bizarre. Uh, uh, uh hello. You must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Uh, hello. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. 
You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Ah. Uh, I wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you found him, he didn't, but that's I the only option that makes the most the sense. Man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Uh, uh I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like Topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Uh, I I'm okay, thank you. Goodbye, then. I feel like we should be poking some questions to facil uh, facilitate his kind of scientific curiosity. Maybe the less he knows, the better, because this place is... just doesn't work for him. And the fact that that scientist there is like, oh, it's not like anything you used to Topside. The only reason Topside is a total dump is because they keep unleashing man-made horrors on it. Subject identified. So what do they expect? Oh, you've got super mutants kicking around and people being terrified of synths. Like, what is that? What, is that? Is that a shock? Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Courses on the hunt are relentless. If you see one, you should stay out of its way. Hello. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Nah, uh, uh, no problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. This is all good knowledge, because if we do decide to fight them, is the recovery of escaped it's all, it's all that are hiding among the human population. Information that we can use. Ah, uh, why would synths want to escape? If synths want to be free, you should let them. I think hit them with it. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one. Ready. In fact, I'd very much like <laughs> to know how you defeated it. Yeah, I shot it with a with a gun. Ah, uh, I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, oh, no, let's ask. Let's ask. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned courses undergo special training. Tell me more. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence. And then they talk like this. rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. They're looking for individual human traits found within their synths in order to undergo special training. It's just like total nonsense. It is pure cognitive dissonance from all of these scientists. Oh, um, all, all the machines that show a, a particular level of individuality are the ones that we like to give special assignments to. Really? Silicon lottery, that's what it, it must be. It must be that. Right, let's go and have a look at advanced... Systems. 
Wow. Whoa, there's a lot going on in here. What the hell is this? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. <laughs> uh, who is that? Rosalind Orman. Wow. Institute Watts IO6 model prototype. Shoots blue lasers, does double damage to the targets at full health. Well, we might as well take something. Uh, a souvenir just in case we never come back. What else you got here? It's too pistol. Well, that was productive. Uh, Plaz Rail. We'll take that. Okay. Experiment 7E. Unlimited ammo capacity. Ooh. We'll take that. The base. Thank you. Don't mind me. Sim 3 light grenades. Don't know what those are. We're taking that. We're taking one of those and we're taking those too. Are we not over encumbered? We are over encumbered. Ah, that would explain why we can't run anymore. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of stuff that we might want to pick up in this area. This also seems like someone we might want to be talking to. What is that you have there, huh? Institute Lair Manual. Ooh, permanently unlock the Institute and big MT Lair skins. Very cool. Okay. Uh, hello. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. Dr. We Madison do. Lee. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Uh, I get the impression you don't want me here. What I want in this case is largely irrelevant. Father gave his orders. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've uh. been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Wow, that's, um... That's very kind of you. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. Not the only way. In case the significance is lost Well, I mean, it is you, the only way, unless you got a big drill. You'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Oh, no. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Uh, uh, uh you, you seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Interesting, what do you think she's working on then, huh? Something very, very suspicious. We should probably make like a bandit and grab what we can while we're here. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and drop some junk that we don't want. Ah, uh, Institute Pistol, you can have that back. We picked up something heavy in here. Uh, no, not really. Black red mask. Oh, that's what we've got as our as our helmet. Yeah, I remember that. Um, right, what have we got that we could potentially drop here? Because we are weighed down by an awful lot. Really, no NPCs we can drop. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, shit. I'm gonna have to give up some of this, some of these weapons that we've grabbed. I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. Now let's go. Value of weight. Oh, was I sorting by value? No, I was sorting by weight. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, sure, you can have this. I guess we'll... We don't really need that lair. I think we've already got one. Let's drop a couple of these. There you are. And then, uh... Shit. Hard choice, eh? What's laser rifle? We've got a better one in our pocket. God damn, we're still over encumbered. Let me see what I can drop. Oh, no, we do have loads of NPCs. Okay, we'll just drop, like... Didn't mean to drop that many, but that's okay. There you go. Um, pick those back up. Right. No, hold on. Wait. I wanted to drop... <laughs> like half of them, not maybe that many. Yeah, let's just go like that. There you go, boom. That gives a little overhead. Well, I don't know how I feel about this place still. Not a massive fan. What do you think's through there, huh? Maybe maybe don't touch it. Oh no, we're fine. Weird. Anything else worth stealing or are we all good? Well, let's move on. The fact they've given us instant teleport back here is uh seems like that could be quite handy, right? That could be quite a useful thing, depending on what path we go down. It's a shame, because if there was a way to, to, to come down here and challenge them and do speech checks and reform things a little bit, I understand that it might not make too much sense if you're suddenly breaking into this highly organized, you know, science group. Oh, this is lovely. <gasps> Monkey! Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Why are you making synthetic gorillas? Theoretical limits are made to be broken. Look! Oh my god. Why are they doing this? This is insane. I, I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves. He seems here. quite young. Well, Hello. So good, people, so good to have you suffering. here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, least admit head of the bioscience incredible. division. 
After I can't all, wait for you to see the work we we're doing. To redefine it's mankind. truly amazing. We can't even hold on to what uh, humanity. I'll reserve judgment until I know more. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, oh. genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. What about to that end? Oh. We cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Uh, it seems like there's nothing you can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a See, they all want him. They want to poach him. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. They just want him on site. Uh, uh, no thank you. Take care, then. You can now fast travel to and from the Institute. So, that is that. Talk to father. We talk to Desdemona. Wow, what a hard choice. What do you think we do here? What on earth do we do? I, I just I just don't think we can join them. I think we're gonna have a chat with father and just be like, look. We're not convinced. Maybe maybe we can challenge him. Maybe we can say that we disagree with the way you treat synths and we'd like to uh, which one's his building again? It's uh this is unacceptable. I have absolutely no idea. The it's the one without that. It's this one, isn't it? This is his building. Pardon me. Oh, look at them. They're all screaming about synths again. <laughs> Let's see if we can challenge him. Let's see if we can find a way to... Find the right place. If I'm on the right floor here. Uh, maybe I'm in completely the wrong aspect. Oh, dear. This place is hard to navigate. Have you noticed that? Uh, the Institute is my life. I could have sworn it was this one. I hope it'll be yours too. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just track him down. Give me a minute, please. Oh, it's that one there. Oh, my bad. I had the... Oh. Ah, no one's looking. They don't need to know we have teleportation technology. Just, just don't worry about it. Right, here he is. Ah. Uh, now that you've hello. had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, First things first, how do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefine. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... Dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. Uh, yes, we can challenge him. Since they're intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Okay. Who erased his memories and why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger. Aww. And a delay could cost lives. Well. I mean, I guess we will... We'll, 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 we'll carry on. 
we will, um, we'll humor him for now. Saying, let me set with the Corsa. Oh, what, at, on my island? That's my island. <laughs> Why is he on my island? Okay. We'll humor him for now. We'll see what's happening. The argument that, oh, well, this synth has taken over a raider band, so synths are dangerous is, is moot because humans are already raiders. It's a total non-point. By that logic, they might as well just condemn humans as machines because they're lovely scientists, fella. Ready to attack on Spectacle Island? What the hell? I'd like to see you try. Oh, sounds like they are trying. What are they doing? Are they coming from the from the ocean? Where are they coming from? I think there's one like right here. Oh, hello. How bizarre. Can still hear the occasional gunfire. Whoa. Okay. Well, this is. Whoa. What's going on? It's like in a full-blown attack on my island. God damn them. How dare they? I mean, I've built a tremendous amount of defenses, so I'd like to see them try. That's the Corsa. See any more raiders? This must be at the at the front. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, sir. Designation X six eighty eight. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. Uh, what do we know about the synth, Gabriel? Designation B five ninety two is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? Uh, okay. Right behind you, sir. Well, turns out that our enemy is right next to our our home. Raiders are our enemies. We got that. That is that is true. Rega Raiders, regardless of whether they're led by, oh dear, regardless of whether they're led by humans or, in this case, synths, doesn't really matter. Oh Jesus. Oh wow. One of them had a, had a power armor. Seems like my people dealt with it pretty fast. Pendant flotilla. Oh what this there. That's their home? Be in the right place. But they're miles away. Why did we meet up here? You little weird man. Okay, let's go over to the wharf, see what we can find. I think ultimately we're still going to turn them down. Unless we can keep challenging them like that and eventually changing their mind in kind of the short term. We're certainly not going to be helping them in the long term, are we? That seems... Jesus, that seems... Very unnecessary. A little bit too hard to pass. Well, good work. Okay, where are these raiders then? Oh, is, is it this thing here? Whoa, this is cool. Okay, it's like an enormous flotilla. Libertalia, there we are. That's your raider. It is I, General Atomic. Please ignore the Corsa behind me. We're not affiliated. What? What were we gonna say? That sounded like a fat man. Shit. Okay, well that was unexpected. Right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll stay indoors. Keep your health high. Keep... That's head fusion core. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Who has that fat man? Oh, there's the person we're trying to get, huh? Where's that fat man coming from? Ready to survive? Let's get him, Planty. Get him, Planty. Oh, the Brotherhood's here as well. Oh my god, what a clusterfuck. I think regardless of what we do, I almost feel like the Brotherhood and Planty are going to come to blows. One way or another, aren't they? I feel like they're so totally incompatible. Hope we don't get in trouble for that synth dying, because that wasn't... wasn't Planty's fault. They were already dead by the time we got here, unless that was the Corsa that did it. Oh, God. Okay. Right, we'll worry about that in a second. I'm trying to keep my damn head down so we don't get it blown off by a nuke. Okay. Uh, just head over in this direction a little bit. There are a lot of raiders, eh? Jesus, this place is enormous. It's cool. Yeah, uh, hello. Ow! Oh, right. That's why I can't shoot him. Makes a lot... Sorry, we're out of ammo. One second, please. Uh, gorse rifle? We love a good gorse rifle. 
Hello. <coughs> Come on. <Ain't> Jesus. <laughs> eh. Right. Okay, keep your head down. Careful, careful. Nice. Okay, where are they all? Turret. Another Raider Waster? Where are we looking here? That person all the way over there. I don't think I can hit them from here, though. Raider Scum. Oh, on the big... That big thing over there. Wow, this place is enormous. What the fuck? There's more Raiders than there are people. I mean, like, in the whole of Boston. Oh, maybe the Institute are onto something now. Let's just go full send. Let's send in more Super Mutants, eh? Nice. There we go. Beautiful. I think I said... Yeah, minigun turret. There you are. Damn, this is crazy. What a cool base. What a cool base design. I think this is the way we're supposed to be going. Wowee. I didn't realize this was... It's just like enormous. I didn't realize this place was all interconnected there for a second. Now, where is the one that had the fat man? Was it this person there? Evidently not. Oh, God, the Brotherhood have started firing. I wonder if the Brotherhood are the one that took out... <laughs> took out that other guy, the guy we were trying to... Oh, there you go. Nice. <coughs> there you go. I wonder if they were the ones that killed the one that we were here to try and capture. I can see bloody anyone. Oh, there you are. Hello. Careful there. Careful. I think we're going to have to swap gun. This one takes... Oh! This one takes far too long to get anything done. Nice. Suppose we don't have to worry about ammo. That's a slight benefit. I don't suppose it can punch through that wall. Right. Uh, let's go for the Dignity Rifle. Bear in mind that thing's explosive. Let's see if we can flush him out. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, I can't quite get that other one. Shit. Okay. Hold on. We don't have to walk across the flotilla. I mean, obviously, firstly, we've got a jetpack. Secondly, we can teleport. What are they shooting at? Are they shooting at the... They're shooting at the Corsa. Look. Let's not get involved. Let's not get involved one way or the other. We should be helping the Brotherhood. Not convinced I am going to help the Brotherhood. One. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> um, let's try this thing out. Ooh. Well, that seems fun. This one's the one that you don't have to reload, either. Damn, this one feels like that weapon from uh, from Quake. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's the Raiders dealt with. Probably something above us we want to go and investigate. Oh, maybe that's the person that we're after. Ooh. Uh, crawl in. Crawl in. There you go. And then, Captain's Cabin. That'll be it. So what was in the water then? That must have been the legendary raider. Oh no. I've only just pieced that together. Shit. I thought that was the person we were after. But no, that was a legendary raider with a legendary item. Oh, bollocks. Um, it was somewhere in this direction, right? They've probably long since floated away by now. XX is still fighting the Brotherhood, so that's on him. Oh look, I bet it's sunk right down to the bottom here somewhere. There. We found it. We're good. Uh, ah, that would explain that then. <laughs> I thought it was weird that this quest target would have died so unceremoniously. Should we teleport right to the top? Oh, look at that. A thing of beauty. A real thing of beauty. Okay. And then right here is... Ooh, careful there. Captain's cabin. Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. Oh. Uh, I'm listening. I'm going to give you B592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say B592 initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code Gamma 71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Oh. Uh. What do you mean by reset his cognitive processes? Put more simply, the recall code will render him unconscious even while he's still standing. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is. 
Le Fusil Terror... Ter I don't think you need the S on the end of that. My French isn't very good, but I don't think you need the S on the end of that. It means the terrible gun. Or I think it actually means the terrible's gun. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Right, hold on. Let's, uh, apparently my French is better than Bethesda, so let's drop uh, something here. Revolutionary sword. I don't think we need that. <laughs> I don't think we need that one, actually. Uh, what else have we got that's got a bunch of weight that I'm not going to use? Uh, of course, a uniform. I wanted to put it in the the rose gallery. Okay, we don't need the tactical goggles. We don't need that. Corsi goggles. Again, it's all for the rose gallery, so I kind of want to keep it. Um, shit. Let's drop some more. Oh, yeah. We don't need this many here. Uh, pop. And one more. Pop. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Wowee. What a total mess. This is going to be a horrible thing that we're doing here. About to take this person's identity away. Ooh. Bobrov's best moonshine. Great. Here's his terminal. Uh, command prompt log. Update user Gabriel. Delete old files. Delete all files. Help. How to delete old files. Help. How to fix piece of shit terminal. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to read the other stuff because we'll be here all day, but... Okay, I want we go... Up to the top floor. We flew up there and there was no one there, so clearly they spawned in after the fact, but... Well Judging done. by your gear, I'm going to guess you two are agents Just of the like Institute. Just like me. So, made it to the no. top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs? <sighs> I feel like we can't do it. Now we've got a now we've got another moral choice. Do we wipe this man's memory or do we allow him to continue leading a raider gang? <sighs> you okay? Deactivate! Can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him! Take them out! Shit! Oh dear. I mean that's awful, but we can't exactly just leave him here synth or not nice to work, sir. I'll take the synth back. To this raid other people. I'm hoping there'll be another, like, some sort of follow-up dialogue with Father about, you know, the nature of man. Some sort of discussion we can have here. This is horrible. This is horrible. There's no right choice. This is just horrible. Speaking of meltdown, Planty's gonna have a meltdown before long. Let's drop some of these NPC again. Because, I'll be honest, I don't think we need nearly as many as we're looting. I think if I was teleporting non-stop, we still wouldn't need all of what we're picking up here. Right, okay. There you go. Wow, bizarre. Feels so bizarre. Right, uh, the Institute. Let's head back and have a chat. And again, we can always walk away. We can walk away whenever we like. Right now, we're just... Advanced systems will be starting a new Dark Matter initiative soon. See, Dark Matter initiative sounds like something very promising for the future of humankind. Now... Really? Temp. Is it? Oh, sorry. These are these are what buttons? Temp thirty one C twenty nine C twenty seven twenty five. Why not just a slider? Why not, what, is that not a control knob below it? Why would you have buttons? Oh yeah, I like it exactly at twenty seven C. I like the moisture at sixty and the lights at sixteen hundred lumens. Uh, what? Bizarre. How bizarre. Now, here's what a high intelligence person might have noticed, like Planty Mush. He's got an oxygen machine and some sort of fancy looking bio bed. Is he dying? I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult. He's only like, what, 61, though? Firsthand how Maybe not even that. A rogue synth can be. Yeah. I don't care about who's to blame. I just wanted to stop a killer. Correct answer. Yes, of course. Your pragmatism is admirable. It does matter, though. If everyone sees the Institute as a villain, dangerous forces could align against us. If we can put the lie to such assumptions, we diminish that threat. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. No, we're not. 
we're not committing to staying here. No, 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 no. We are absolutely not committing to staying here. That's not on. Get out of my room. What are you doing? Uh, thank you. Did we just have Lawrence Higgs evicted? <laughs> it's so funny. I was hoping it would say planty mush on the door, but it doesn't. Okay, well, here we are. Whoa. They're cool. He's trying to tempt me with, with cool outfits. Here, sir, father wants to see you. <sighs> no, this is wrong. This is all manner of wrong. This is all a manner of wrong. On all counts, sir. Yeah, thank you, X6. Where's my stock of arms? Ah, oh, there we are. Institute rifle, institute jumper. Institute jumper as in like what father's wearing. Like a nice knitted jumper. Okay, that's lovely. Oh, this feels so wrong. I think we're probably going to... This sounds like the Battle of Bunker Hill sounds like it might be impactful. So this might be where we say absolutely not and draw the line. He's he's seen enough. I think we've seen enough and under, uh, understand enough now to establish what we are and are not comfortable with. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? Ah. Uh, I... Try and that's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the railroad. So you're aware of their misguided beliefs? <sighs> I don't like any of these answers. They mean well, they're only doing what they think is right. I don't like any of these answers, but that's okay. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. Insanity. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. This is insanity. This is like if I went out and I, I got a wasp's nest, okay? And I put that wasp's nest in my shed and I, I let them breed until there are a thousand wasps and then someone was like, get the wasps out of your shed and then open the door and then I'm like, how dare you unleash these wasps on these innocent people? I hope you're not too overwhelmed. You're an insane man. Ah, uh, this sounds way too dangerous. It shouldn't be. But it's important that we act on this soon. No, we stop. The we don't do this. Has any indication we've this is the end. Them. We draw the line we here. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sins. That would only complicate matters. Not happening. Yeah. Uh, no. No, we're not doing it. No, we're not doing it. I'm not going to do that. Like many things at the Institute, this has ramifications beyond the immediate objective. Keep that in mind. A Corsair will be waiting for you near Bunker Hill. No, You'll need we're not doing this. Wipe out the railroad. Inform the Brotherhood. Inform the railroad. Absolutely inform the railroad. This is the end. This is the end of our time in the Institute. They're now having us... Potentially fight and kill people trying to do right. No matter what the consequences of what they're doing is. They are trying to do right. So we're going to have to let them know. Oh, thank God. Desdemona. Not now, Tinker Tom. You didn't sound certain yesterday. It is really, really yeah. good to see you. Did it work? Did you make it inside the Institute? I have some bad news. Yeah. Uh, I, I met with the leader of the Institute, and it turns out he's my son. What? Wasn't he just a little boy? Yeah. Yeah, after they took him from me, they froze me in cryo. Instead of being on ice for a few years, it's a few decades instead. The Institute's really done a number on you. Besides meeting your boy, did you meet Patriot too? Did Tom's holotape work? Someone in the comments said I left the holotape inside the terminal, which I did. Uh, I met Patriot. His name's... Liam Binet, or should we say, yeah, okay, I guess. I knew you'd get the job. Binet, done. sorry, Binet. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. No, After uh, you're done, we'll no. analyze it and figure yeah, out. Yeah, it's a bigger problem. Get to it. Ah, uh, no. Sometimes 
Sometimes the story's got it right. No, uh, Desdemona. You something on your mind? Yeah, the Institute knows about Bunker Hill. I gotta recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. Uh, uh, what do you mean? What, now you're like, oh, let's not go and help the fucking synths. Pick a lane. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll lose a lot more than four cents if the Institute kicks me out. Ooh. How much damage would it cause if we let them hit us? We're running out of places to hide our cents. That's why we put so many eggs in one crowded basket to begin with. So what would we lose? Four cents, Stockton, some of our best agents, and the inevitable civilian casualties? No, not this time. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next, but now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait Sorry, until did I misunderstand her first argument? I thought she was saying fuck it, hard. so make the no sacrifice. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Uh, uh, wouldn't the Institute be suspicious if I'm the only one left? Wait, sorry. What? What is her plan here? You're a lot tougher than anyone else in their outfit. If only one person could survive, it would be you. And any story you come up with won't be contradicted. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone and so then we're gonna spring the trap. So we're going to lure the Institute in, spring the trap. You'll Everyone's going to die but me, and then I go back and say, oh, the Institute to were too down. strong. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Uh, okay. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. Okay. Should we go and inform the Brotherhood of Steel as well? <laughs> okay, so we go to Bunker Hill. And then we throw. We intentionally throw. Oh, I've been hit. Oh, no, I'm down. And then the course gets gunned down, and then we go out to the Institute and say they were too powerful. We couldn't stop them. I think that was her plan. She could have explained it slightly better, but that's okay. What a mess. If we play both sides, we're always going to come out on top. I like this double agent. I think this might be the best approach. Oh. Uh. Hello? Um, is that other map marker? That must be the Brotherhood, right? That other map marker. Absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. We can play both sides, but that's one side that is, is unplayable. Hello. I've been waiting for you. Uh. Watch your tone, synth. Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting backup relay now. Is that the Brotherhood as well? You hear that? Oh dear, okay. Um Mutant Hound. That's 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 nothing to worry about. What do we do here? We just we just go in and we go bang 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 and we don't actually shoot anything. I assume that's the uh, that's the implication. What is that sorry, what does my gun have? What is it loaded with? Oh plasma cells. I was so confused. We'll take this thing then. Oh no. Die! Uh Railroad! Die! Here, my target has but bang! Oh, 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 shall I shoot the... Shoot the synths? Find the escape synths. Okay. I think we just ignore everything. Is that the... I, I think that's the plan. We just... Die! S synths? Why are the railroad heavies beating up Old Man Stockton? Am I missing something? I thought Old Man Stockton was on their side. What, what the... What? What? <laughs> what? Huh? What's happening? Right here. What? What's going on? Okay, Brotherhood, Brotherhood Knight Captains. The Brotherhood is here as well. Uh, I'm very confused. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Railroad heavies. Ah, uh, through this door. Oh, uh, through this door, please. Ah, uh, I think we're going in the right direction. 
Someone's aggroed to us. I don't know who. Ah. Hello. Talk. No, no. I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. No. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, you're safe, okay? I'm gonna let you go. Oh, God. Thank you. Okay. Kill the Corsa. Beautiful. Oh. That's the Corsa right there. Nice. Great shot. And again. He didn't expect us. Fire again. Take him out quick. Before he can radio in. Boom. Oh, my God. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. And, and are we now against the Brotherhood, too? Are we now against the Brotherhood? We should go and have a chat with Preston and the, and the, and the other fellas. Who's, who's this? Railroad Heavy. Railroad Heavy. Brotherhood Knight Captain. Oh, God. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're gonna do it. We've got to help the railroad. I think we've picked our we've, we've picked our side. Let's commit to it. Oh god, that synth just body slammed that man. Die. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> wow. Okay, this is this has gotten messy, and I'm not sure where we stand in the grand scheme of things. But nobody saw us. No, nobody can report back about us betraying. The Brotherhood, nor the nor, nor the Institute, so we might be fine. I use the term betray very loosely. Wow, fucking mess, huh? Brotherhood still hollow tag. Well, we'll take that. We might be able to buy our buy ourselves some goodwill. Hollow tag. There you go. If I'm not mistaken, T60 gear is like almost kind of mass produced. Not very good power armor, right? And the T45 is better because that's like pre-war yeah. good shit. I think they're all pre-war good shit, but like the T45 is like 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 heavier and stronger if I'm not mistaken. Might be misremembering. Like the higher the number does not mean the better the armor. Ooh. Duct tape. Don't mind if I do. Nothing it can't fix. Duct tape. If we get to the ruins and then he's like, oh, we put our we put a tracker on you, and now we know you're a horrible man. Or a nice man in this case. I, I still don't understand why the Railroad Heavies were fighting Old Man Stockton. I feel like I really missed something there. I don't understand why the Railroad Heavies are going around. I, I really feel like I, I missed a key aspect of the story, despite the fact I was listening to what they were talking about. Uh, oh, right. We can't fight we're over and come it again. <laughs> I, I just don't... It was Desdemona like, okay, let's... Kill a bunch of civilians to save synths? Because that's not what we signed up for either. And if that's the case, I'm absolutely going to be... Going to be backing out of the railroad too. I just I just don't get it. Why would they be beating the shit of old man Stockton? I thought he was part of the railroad. I must have missed something important. I must have missed a very, very key important element of this story. And I'm not sure how. But that's okay. I'll, I'll watch things back. Must have just misinterpreted something she was saying. Maybe I was right the first time when I thought she said she was going to sacrifice it, but she was going to sacrifice civilian lives. That wasn't what we signed up for. Oh, they're all fucking lunatics. Is this war so important to her that she's sacrificing like a, like a human settlement of people that helped her? What a fucking nut job. How do we get in there? Down here? How do we get in there? Uh... Elevator, I remember. It's looking back to me now. Or more specifically, I remember seeing it before. Oh, here we go. Must be this. Wow. What a bloody mess. Well, I guess we'll um have a chat, see what the outcome is, and then maybe move on. Just push him off. I am the new leader of the Institute now. Now, uh, hello. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. 
if you literally do a 180 from where you are stood, you will see Diamond City. Uh, it's not so bad. Uh, people manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. <sighs> they left me on ice, yeah. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this, to not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Yeah, uh, you, you, you couldn't let me out decades ago. Until I became director, I had no idea you were there. And after, there was initially no logical reason to do so. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Ah, uh, this is all this is to you. All I am to you, just another experiment. No, that's not all. But still, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Soon, I hope, I hope you'll understand. Everything I push him off has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? Nah. Uh, should we go for it? Should we draw the line here? I like that. I like that a lot. I made a choice. I let the synths go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? Nah. Uh, it was the right thing to do, Sean. There's no moral choice to be made here. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? Ah. Uh, I don't want to be involved in this. I am out. What if I don't want to represent the Institute? Have you thought about that as a good, as a good response? What if I don't want to represent the Institute? Have you thought about that? To be quite honest, no, I hadn't considered that. It would be such a poor decision on your part. I had not given it much thought. Uh, I can't do it. I can't be part of this anymore. Uh, I am very sorry to hear that. I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hope you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Father. Look at this nonsense. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. I hope... I hope you can find some amount of peace. Nah. I dreamt of- Oh, that's a fucking burn. I dreamt of you as an adult for so long. Here you are, and I'm so disappointed. Goodbye, father. Yes, get him. Yeah, you're not the only one who can teleport. Uh, yeah, take that. 
Granted, we can't really teleport as far. Failed the Battle of Bunker Hill. Started banished from the Institute. Returned to the Institute. Oh, it gives you a, like, what, what, what is that, like a second chance? Completed, banished from the Institute. Oh. Is that just letting you know that you, you can't go back? Tell Preston Garvey about the Institute. Return, report to Desdemona. I think we've got to do it, haven't we? What a horrible man. If you aren't with us, then you're against us. Well, we see how it is then. Thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow begins, doesn't it? All out war against the Institute. And you know who are going to form those ranks? It's going to be the Unstoppables versus the Institute. Maybe even the Unstoppables versus the Brotherhood. This is going to be awesome. We need to find our last Unstoppable though before we can even do that. We don't have a man to man. Is now a good time to do some DLC? Please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all there.